Hi there, it's Uncle Laurie here and welcome to my weekend shave. Today we're doing a shave with some sterling soap. Sterling Barbershop. Wonderful scent. Classic, sort of sweetish. A bit of floral, a bit of bar, um, powder, some spice. I get a bit of vanilla in there as well. That's the pour. Well, semi pour because I actually got the um, the puck form, the four and a half ounce puck, and put it in this plastic container so it's not in its normal green one. And put my own label on it, barbershop. And when you get them, you get a little sticker, a small sticker on top, and also the ingredient sticker. So, lovely. So I want to go to a level half teaspoon this time. So it'll be about one a quarter, 1.3 grams. We'll see how that goes. And the brush we're going to use from AP Shave Co. It's just a standard handle from uh, them, uh, uh, green, green and black, with a 24 mil. Um, uh, was it cashmere or not? Set to 54 millimeters. So I'll just stick that in my mug to get wet. Yes, it doesn't need to be soaked. Just to gather some moisture. Um, what else are we using? Oh, the razor. The razor we're using today. We're going with the Yaki Romulus head. And on there I've got this a, uh, a fancy colourful wooden handle that I just a generic one you can pick them up on eBay now the normal handle that comes with it is this one here with stainless steel but I find it a bit skinny and slippery in my hand so I prefer this one it's a bit lighter and the Romulus is a stainless steel head. It's an AC, 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 AC <laughs> head. And Artist Club blade I'm using comes from Kai. The Kai Captain Titan Mild, they're called. And it's on its third use. All right then, we'll go ahead and uh, produce the lather because I already got the pre-shave on. The pre-shave we're using is the glycerin, imperial glycerin soap. As you can see, I've already got the soap squashed in there. Quarter teaspoon, about uh, 1.35 grams I measured it to. So I'll just get my brush, give it a squeeze, a couple of shakes. So it just start moist. So it's just a standard handle I picked up from AP Shave, probably on discount, uh, about less than twenty dollars Australian, I think it was. So we'll get started.
and as expected a wonderful rich creamy leather from sterling ah, wonderful scent sweetish get some uh, florals yeah a bit of powder maybe some spice and vanilla hmm lovely scent well, at least I find it's nice reminds me of um, another soap actually I can't really recall which one all right then let's re-wear the face teaspoon uh, still got plenty of leather so you can be quite frugal with stilling if you want it to be look at that beautiful leather all right we'll grab the razor Oh, we just see the blade there. Let's see how we go. It's not aggressive, quite mild actually, but still, still efficient. Being a very small head, very maneuverable. Easy to get around in the little places like under the nose here. And the blade is very close to the edge, so you can just get in those nostrils there and get the little hairs. All right. Very nice. shiny leather this one
The scent does have um, a bit of sweetness to it, but not overly sweet. Oh, I should be going across the grain. Oh, well, never mind. Getting some lovely weather here, lovely spring weather. Today is in the high teens, sunny day. With a cool breeze. Perfect spring weather. Okay, very nice slickness and residual from the sterling. Oh, I shouldn't be using this hand, but it doesn't matter, I've got a wooden hand also. Third layer. This time it's supposed to be against the grain. Because we went against the grain before, we'll go across the grain. For me, it's about going uh, three different directions, if, if I can. Helps pick up the hairs. At least, that's what I find. My nose, I've also uh, had my hair cut, trimmed it down to one mil. Good summer length. I'm still thinking about doing a head shave.
as you can see I'm just running on residual at the moment okay let's fill around for uh, yeah under the jawline like we normally do cheeks are pretty good there's a little touch up on the moustache there Okay, just get another layer. Just a thin layer on this touch up pass. Don't want it too thick on the last one. Beautiful. Bit of buffering. J hooks to get in in that little hollow there. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Come on, boo. This rinse off. I feel. No, oh, that's nice. It's a little bit on the chin there. Soapy feel on the face, beautiful. I don't worry about rinsing it completely off because I'm going to have a shower anyway, right now, after this. Okay, we'll do a bit of quick alum test, just a few tingles on the neck, nothing more than a one or two. Nothing on the chin. A few tingles around the moustache. Nothing on the cheek. Nothing on the other cheek. Beautiful. All right. Just rinse that off. I only leave it on if I get major irritation. I might leave it on for 30 seconds or so.
Nice, let's take a look. Leftover leather. Not as much as I normally have because I did cut back on the soap quantity, but enough. And very slick. Beautiful leather. I'll put this on my face, go and have my shower, I'll come back for the post shave. Oh, wonderful shave. Oh, that smells nice. Yes, wonderful. Okay, let's get straight into it. Bit of uh, witch hazel from T and Dickinson's with some tea tree oil and menthol crystals. Oh, wonderful. Very nice. And then we put a balm on. We're going with the Nivea facial balm. Give it a shake. Just the one squirt. Get that little hair off. Pleasant scent. And also, you can go on the head, in the scalp, back of the neck. And the left over can go on the elbows. Okay, and then the final ingredient, we're going with Pinard uh, Globin after shave lotion, the classic scent from the, uh, what is it, 18th century, oh, 1810 it says here, 1810 because it's the anniversary one, 2010. Wonderful. It's a good match with the barbershop. At least it is for me. Not everybody likes the scent. And we all have our own likes and dislikes. Alright then. That's my shave today. Thank you all for watching. And I'll catch you on my next shave. Cheers.